that's really it. What? They've cancelled my check card. Well, they've finally done it. It's finally happened. I'm finished. I'm down to my last credit card. You know what this means, Michael? I'm down to my last credit card. Is this, are you? You could say that, yes. How much? That's none of your business. I know how much. You tell me, then. Nearly two thousand pounds. Two thousand? If it was only that, there wouldn't be a problem. That's a lie. I happen to know it's two thousand pounds because I had a look at your bank statement. I have three bank accounts, Mycroft. Three? Golly. You wouldn't lend me a tenner, could you? No. I've already lost twenty pounds. Fiona says you owe her forty. Hmm. Well, there's no more where that came from. Gone off you, has she? I'm not surprised. I thought it would have happened earlier. And Bob was out to get today, and she's after your blood. It's not my blood after, it's my body. They're going to sack you. Yes, they are, Freeman. That's if a bank doesn't shoot you first. Well, if they do sack me, I may as well shoot myself. I'd start being a bit nicer to Debbie if I were you. You know, Mycroft, that is probably the most intelligent thing you've ever said. Morning, darling. Morning, Tommy. What a day. Nicola. <laughs> my, my, we are looking chirpy this morning. One the time with bingo, did we? No, just the fools today. Oh, well, well, well. Better look next time. I was wanting to have a chat with you sometime today, if you can spare the time. Yes, of course. How would uh, a best one grab you? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Oh, I, I was very pleased to hear that you sorted in the kitchen. Giving oh. that young Paul his own menu a fine idea. Well, just to try out, Tommy. <laughs> so? <laughs> well, that first one it is then. Right. I open with a mousses a la Paul, although I don't actually call them that. And then we go on to that, that, and that. And then for speciality of the day, lost kidneys in creamy shallot sauce. I want you uh, No, I want criticism. Where's the meat? What? The meat. The red meat. What do you want me to do? Poison these people? But there's no lamb or beef. Yeah, but there's kidneys. Nobody likes kidneys. But they will after this. Don't like them. Yet yeah, we call it speciality of the day. Appear on the addendum. But they're still going to want to know what the speciality is, aren't right, they? Then we call it surprise speciality of the day. Well, I'm sorry, but we just can't do it. Kidneys are off. They're beautiful. They're fresh from the market, but they're warm from the car. Well, I'm sorry. You reason with her. Look, it is a bit late in the day to change our minds now. Oh, all right. We haven't got much choice since we've already gone and bought them. Honestly, I go away for three days and we're serving things people have never even heard of. Look, I'll take full responsibility, all right? Well, that's very noble of you, Diane. Just take no one importance coming, that's all. Uh, excuse me. But anyone important will appreciate horticulture. Because... Important people do, on the account of how sophisticated they are. Look, I don't want to argue, but the sooner we turn this place into a grill and griddle, the better we're all concerned, especially the customers. It's a grill and griddle. Look, I'm not asking you to buy it. Just take it as security on a small loan. I wouldn't if it was a grill. You must have piles stashed away. But I've always lived within my means. Besides, I'm saving up for my bungalow in Hastings. You're going to die any day now, and then you'll feel an idiot. Yes, and when I do, guess who isn't going to get my carriage clocks? Oh, you really know how to cut someone down. Oh, hello. Hello. Is there uh, any lunch? Oh, you don't want a staff lunch, miss. Of course she does. Of course she wants a staff lunch. <laughs> don't lend him any money, no matter what you do. Chicken or lamb? Um, chicken, please. Actually, I'm glad I found you. I've got to ask you all about the leisure centre. Oh. Broccoli? Uh, yes, please. Perhaps we could talk later on? Certainly. Just pop over to the leisure centre at any time. Roast or mash? Roast. Uh, I mean mash. Oh. Wise decision. I've got to make out a report on you, you see, to my father. Oh, really? Oh, yes, I, I think I remember you saying something. Ah, oh, good. That's something. Yes, I've been so busy at the leisure centre, it slipped my mind. Look. There you are. Ah. Oh. Now, Kim. Thank you very much. You know, watching you eat reminds me of our lobster thermidor the other day. I did enjoy it. Oh, good. So did I. I was thinking that we should do it again sometime. Really? 
Uh, why not? I don't suppose you could lend me just a tiny bit of money, could you? How much? Well, just a couple of blueies till the end of the week. Somebody told me you were in terrible debt. Oh, nothing I can't handle. Just my cash flow that's the problem. Well, I'll, um... I'll see what I can do. I don't know why. Probably never see it again, will I? Nonsense. Look, I tell you what. If you lend me two tenors now, I'll take you for another lobster. Um, lovely. Oh, sorry I'm late. I've been having a meeting with Daniel Freeman. Oh, that wanted to talk to you about. He was really helpful. Took me on a really extensive tour of the whole centre. I even went under a sun ray lamp. Do you think you look a bit better? No, I can't say you do. So what you get on Freeman? Get on him. I've just been going through these old files. There's more complaints about that lad than the rest of the staff put together, employees as well as the public. I think it's true. Huh? Who doesn't it is? Both my husband and I were shocked by the casual manner of the young leisure centre supervisor, who on one occasion said, find the jacuzzi yourself. What do you want, a ball of string and a compass? <laughs> Perhaps they don't understand his sense of humour. Humour doesn't come into it. Well, I think he's very charming and very efficient. If I thought that you'd gone soft on a bloke like that, I'd have him oh, up to Oh, of course, I haven't gone soft on him. Good. Probably been under a lot of pressure. He's got terrible financial problems. Financial problems? He's got debts of nearly over seven thousand pounds. Right, that does it. He's going. I'm not having a member of my management staff not being able to take care of his own money. I'm going to give him two weeks. Huh? Dad, you can't. Yes, of course I can. Perfect right as a responsible owner. I mean, it, it's so unfair. You have gone soft on him. Oh, all right. What if I have? Even though I haven't. What Worthless public school layabout. And very soon he's going to be jobless as well. Dad! I'm sorry, love, but that's the way of it. Dad, if you sack Daniel Freeman, you'll have to sack me too. From Crossroads, from Brown Hills, from the whole kit and caboodle. Look, I know I promised I wouldn't take her out to dinner, but this is strictly business. Oh, that's just typical. Look, this is a crisis. They're going to kick me out. You know that. No more lobster thermidors. Precisely. I don't believe this. Look, I'm going to have dinner with her, and there's nothing I can do about it. Look, this is all the money I have in the world, and that's borrowed. Daniel, sometimes I just think you're a just a good time, Charlie. Look, we'll have fisk tomorrow night, all right? Lord, beautiful. No, I don't think I want to. Go on, you do really. You're really horrible sometimes. Oh, you say the nicest things. I'm vulgar. There, I said it. Vulgar? Vulgar? Uh, excuse me. Ah, oh, uh, Debbie, yes, what can I do for you? I'm afraid my father wants to see us both in his office before he goes home. Tonight. What? Oh, oh, Lord. I shouldn't miss it if I were you. Uh, right, uh, look, do you know Fiona? We have met. Briefly. I'll uh, see you in his office about seven, then. Oh. Well, it looks like I might be free after all. Don't make any plans. What's the time? Half past five. God, I'll never make it. I'll black out or something. End up unconscious in a moose. Paul, try to relax. Just to see what Lenny did to the orange peel. He just had pieces, kept bashing it with a blunt knife. What if somebody chokes? They won't choke. It's a terrible pressure, you know, being for a chef. And it plays havoc with your rhythms, and but nobody realises it. Try to think of something else. I'm, I'm not normally this neurotic. I'm normally in complete control of my nerves. Of course you are. I just care. I'm one of the few people left in this world that actually care. It be a terrible burden. Oh, it is, Charlie. It's exactly what it is. What's the time? Half past five. Well, it's not the cooking, Charlie. It's the authority I can't handle. Oh, how's Paul? Oh, a bit tense, you know. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> Are you going to be there? Guinea pig was always my favourite role. All right. Oh, by the way, I brought you these. All right, thanks. Oh, hello. Oh. oh, by the way, uh, I will... Monkey's overdone the garlic a bit. <laughs> hello again. 
How lovely to see you. I've missed you all day. Come in. Well, come in and sit down, the pair of you. Daniel, what's yours? I don't suppose you've got any soft drinks, have you? Well, you want a gin tea? No, no. Soda water will do. Thanks. I'll have the same. With some. Debbie's been uh, filling me in since we arrived here on one or two things and on this and the other. And I've been going through some of the management files. Yes, I'm sorry. How do you like it? How do you like it? Right, there you go. Yeah. And I've been, um, how shall I put with a few things. Now, don't you say anything. I said I'm uh, concerned, and, and for good reason. Now, that reason is, and I'll say this straight out, that I don't happen to think that you're being paid as much as you should be. Beg your pardon? Do let me finish. As I said, he's been uh, filling me in, and um, I've come to the conclusion that you should uh, be welcome to a little pay rise. What do you say to seven and a half percent? Well, maybe just a spot of whiskey. I'm well, glad to hear you say that. You sure you've got the right man? No question about it. I want a man to run my leisure centre properly, and I reckon that you're our man. I reckon that you should get together with our Debbie here and come up with some improvements. Of course, yeah. And it's about time you started to call me bomber. The Elsters? Yeah, well, I shall try. Now, in return for my kindness, I shall want some real hard work out of you. No lying in bed, as I believe you're prone to, according to my file, and a bit more courtesy to the general public. Right? Right. <laughs> right. That's all I've got to say. We'll talk about the details in the morning. Now, Debbie, uh, if you're ready, I shall be off in about... To, uh... I'll be independent and uh, take a... Let's shake on it, lad. See yourselves out. Dad. I mentioned it. Um... Hot bricks at the moment. I'm sure you'll do fine. Rodwell. Tom Rodwell. It's an old rogue like you doing a nice place like this. Oh, you know, Sam, uh, just uh, business. Yeah, pleasure. Got more pleasure than business, true. How's the gutter? I haven't seen you for ages. Somewhere that I don't know about. Always the sense of humor, sir. Huh? Call it what you like. Nice to see you again. You too. Who's that? Uh, some long, boring story. Well, then, let's forget it. Shall we choose? Well, I suppose it's you I've got to thank. Oh, no, not really. Practically saved my life. <laughs> well, I... Yes. I ought to be getting back home for dinner, then. Mm. Same here. Uh, hang on. Um, how about our lobster thermidor? Oh, yes. I've forgotten all about that. <laughs> I've my mind. Uh, and maybe a few tonics in the bar first. Well, that'd be nice. Yeah. Um. Although we've got some petty cash. <laughs> I'm 
I'm really not sure how that guacamole is going to go down. I think he's overdone the garlic a bit. He let me have a little taste. I thought it was very good. But then I'm very fond of avocado. I think I'll just reserve judgment. That's Charles Mycroft. He joined us at Christmas. He's got a screw loose somewhere, but nobody quite knows where. What? Oh. This is very good. I think it's some kind of save mousse. It's nice, though. Yeah. Sam, why do you keep looking around at that table? That man I was talking to, he's a counsellor. A member of the Finance Committee, Chairman of the Works Committee. He's a powerful and respected man. How very interesting. He's also a very nasty piece of work and is involved in some shady dealings. So why do you keep staring at him? I don't know. Man, I know him from somewhere. I might explain why he's so edgy. Look for... to me. Not tonight. Not in this restaurant. I've got to. Those two men are from the fraud squad. Now, if I can get... It doesn't matter. If you want to rake up some scary pine, but not here. Nicola, be reasonable. I've got to make one phone call. Leave this table again. I mean it. Ask them to put my kidneys on a hot plate, will you? I'm serious. Look. I'd never trust you again, Sam. You ruin everything. Oh, come on, Nicola. This isn't Dallas. We'll talk about it later. No, we won't. Oh, dear. Wasn't that bad, was it? with us here on UK Gold for a dramatic trip to Denver after the break, it's Dynasty.